Laurel City Council met today to talk about whether to extend the city's ban on new car washes and storage units. The city already has about 25 car washes along with 3 million square feet of storage unit space, more than needed for a city of that size. NBC2's Rachel Whalen is on Del Prado Boulevard with what they came up with. Well, no one on city council wants to scrub out these car washes and storage units, but they all agree that there needs to be some type of regulation after the moratorium ends. A quick Google search will show you there are car washes and storage units everywhere you look on major roads in Cape Coral, some just a few blocks apart. Too many, way too many. They need to fix that zoning. They're on every other corner. We don't need that many car washes and, and uh, all that stuff here. And then we do have 17 existing self-storage facilities. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, <laughs> And, yeah. and we're getting ready to double that. Yeah, yeah Mayor, awesome. if I could. All right. That's why in April, Cape Coral City Council placed a temporary ban on building both those facilities. But it only lasts until January, and now Council is trying to figure out their next steps. That's why we're here. Hmm. That's, you know, that's why we're having this discussion, because they're popping it up all over the place, and you can have one within a quarter mile uh, of one another right now. Council agreed car washes should only be built if builders follow rules on where it can be and how it looks. They would also like similar regulations for storage units, but also to put a cap on the number based on population. Danielle Salazar said the car washes are needed. I personally think there is not enough self-service car washes uh, just because I own a, a wave runner. So finding places to clean it, flush it out, it's very difficult to, to actually do. And here's another newer car wash on Del Prado Boulevard by the Cape Coral Hospital. Now, no final decisions were made at today's meeting, but we will keep you updated if they do make any to come. I'm reporting in Northeast Cape Coral, Rachel Whalen, NBC2.